So what we're doing, we're applying for our first entitlement. So we put an X in the box just there. We put an X in the category C. If it's a big lorry that you look to drive, if it's a minibus you're looking to drive, then what you're going to be doing is you're going to be putting a box. You're going to be putting a tick in that box just there. It's not an additional provisionment unless you've already got entitled, unless you've already got a provisional for a D1, and then you're adding on a C. That would become an additional provisional entitlement. So you put an X in the, that box then instead of first entitlement. If you already have a provisional for a lorry, for example, and you got a provisional a while ago, and you've already put a tick in that box, you would have put a tick in the lorry box. So this means now you've decided you want to drive a minibus. So instead of putting the first entitlement, you'd put a tick in that box because it's an additional entitlement and then you put a tick in the or a cross in the D1 box. Vice versa. You've already applied for a provisional license in the past so you would have put an X in that box, you'd have put an X in the D1 box. Now you want to drive a lorry so your new form you put an X in the additional box and an X in the C box and if you're going to put it through the C put all of the C's on. Anytime you apply for a license, it's better to put an X in every box because even if you've got no intention of driving a bus, you might in the future change your mind or vice versa. If you are only applying to get a bus license, one day, who knows, you might want to drive a larger vehicle. So put all the X's in here. A motorhome, for example, may need a C1 entitlement. So put an X in all of these boxes there.